St. John Contius Parish in Chicago seeks to reassure faithful amid changes the priests of Chicago's St. John Contius Parish have pledged both continued support for their parishioners and obedience to the liturgical changes implemented by Pope Francis and Cardinal Blase Cupich. The Church is well known for its dignified liturgical celebrations according to both the Novus Ordo and the Usus Antiquiar. When Pope Francis issued his motu proprio traditionis custodis, some worried it might spell the end of the canons regular of St. John Contius. But let not your heart be troubled. We're not going anywhere, Father Joshua Caswell, Superior General of the Canons Regular of St. John Contius and pastor of the West Town Chicago neighborhood St. John Contius Parish, said January 16 at the 7.30 a.m. Sunday Mass. We fully acknowledge that many of you have endured a heavy cross and have been preoccupied by confusion, uncertainty, and sadness, Caswell said. Each of us, brothers and priests, have shared a great deal in these emotions and we carried that same cross right alongside of Youth Canons Regular, founded in 1998, follow a form of vowed religious life that celebrates both the Tridentine and the post-Second Vatican Council forms of the Catholic Mass. In addition to St. John Contius, they work in the Chicago Archdiocese at St. Peter Parish in Volo, Illinois, a village to the northwest of Chicago. They also staff a parish in the Diocese of Springfield in Illinois and a chapel in Michigan. We are committed to continuing our ministry to you, to restore the sacred in all things, Caswell told the congregation Sunday. The canons regular are just as committed to filial piety for the office of the Archbishop of Chicago and the Bishop of Rome. Last month Cardinal Cupich issued a policy for the Archdiocese of Chicago that curtails the celebration of the Mass and other sacraments according to the Usus Antiquiar. The canons regular celebrate both forms of the Mass, including the rarely celebrated Latin language ordinary form of the Mass. Benedict XVI had granted broad permission for the Usus Antiquiar, but these permissions are in question following Pope Francis' traditionized custodis. Under the Chicago Archdiocese policy which takes effect January 25, Clerics who wish to use the old rite must submit their request to Cupich in writing and agree to abide by the new norms under Pope Francis' motu proprio. The Latin term ad orientum, meaning towards the east, is used to describe liturgies where the priest faces the altar. This was generally the orientation of the Catholic liturgy before the Second Vatican. On their website, the canons regular say both the ordinary form and the extraordinary form, as the official liturgies of the Church, are the perfect fulfillment of the Church's unceasing obligation of praise due to our God who is the source of all life. They are the center of our spirituality and religious life by being for us the primary means by which we are daily drawn closer to God. In a December 27, 2021 statement, Caswell said he had an audience with Cupich on December 23, in which he assured the Cardinal that the canons regular are committed to unity with the Archbishop and the Pope. His eminence indicated he wants the work of the canons regular to continue, albeit within the boundaries established by the Archdiocesan policy to take effect January 25, 2022. We will be petitioning His Eminence for various permissions. The Cardinal has encouraged us to do so, he said. Caswell said the canons regular received the news of the new policy with no little sadness, but recognized the challenge to live more fully our charism. In this moment we are prayerfully discerning how to be a bridge for unity in the life of the Church by faithfully implementing the Archdiocesan policy in accord with our spiritual and pastoral patronage, as well as the guidance of the Archbishop of Chicago, and at the same time remain faithful to our mission, Caswell said in the message. Throughout this novena, our hearts will be fixed on Mary's, whose heart was also pierced, and who will ultimately say to us, as she told the wedding guests at Cana, pointing to her son, do whatever he tells you, said Caswell.